They're fighting. Uh oh. Please let me in there, sir. Please. Take a look at this, you guys. Whoa, is that Patrick? Precious little boy. You gotta jump. He's trying to hub me. Whoa, is that Kevin? He just flies around. And sometimes he'll fly right back. Gord, oh, no! Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Urban Rescue Branch. My Pibbin friend is doing very well. He likes to hang out on the back of my neck. Big Ounce lives in jail. Okay, everyone, look at this. It's Mr. Ounce and Jabringa Bones. I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of my house. Okay, guys, take a look at this. As you can see, uh, there's no more animals in my house at all, except for Gustavo Fring. All right. Oh, come on, you gotta jump. Yeah, there you go. I need to refill the water, but either way, we're gonna be moving him outside. Get out of my way. I also have all these eggs, but none of them are gonna hatch. And Big Ounce is doing very well. And I keep this old man on the porch because the other prairie dogs attack everything on site. We're doing a farm tour video. Today I'm going to give you guys a full tour of the whole rehab facility before we get our final inspection from the game wardens. <laughs> Alright, come on guys, let's go, let's go. Look at this, you guys, he just flies around and sometimes he'll fly right back to me and land on my hand. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? <laughs> I love this creature. But it's so much nicer to have just one of them, you guys, because then they get to be your best friend. And this little man has spent a lot of time with me, so now he trusts me enough to come back. And I'll give you a view with the wide-angle lens, but I'll throw him up in the air, and then I'll say, come on, come on. Oh, oh he's going to Ounce Topia. But okay, this is the first stop of the tour, you guys. Ounce Topia is now cleared out completely. We're going to be putting insulation and some kind of board on the ceiling and the sides here. We're going to keep this little AC unit. And this room will be used probably just for cottontail rabbits and maybe be opossum but come on guys i'm gonna show you the new barn we cleared out all the hay <laughs> but as you guys can see take a look at this we cleared out all the hay from the barn we have three more of these little tubs now for reptiles or anything else but take a look at this you guys we now have no more nasty hay in this barn and i have farmer's lung now this whole area here can just be white-tailed deer basically like i said we have all of these one of these is going to be for gustavo but the other ones can be for turtles or whatever else i got pub and queen all by themselves in here because they like to hang out with the hammock but if we need to get a lot more space if we get a ton of white-tailed deer we can open this up for them as well i don't know what we're going to do with this yet but we separated this entire area and i did it all by myself without any help from a beautiful young man named pierce look how friendly a pigeon can be oh my goodness i love this little man but like i said this whole area here is perfect for whitetail or any other animals that we get for wildlife rehab we still have the hose here and everything else but there's now no more cappy bars in here that can chew on this insulation pigeon bobin Patrick Bateman is no longer limping or doing anything cringe anymore. And he even tries to hump me sometimes. Look at this precious man. Why is he doing that? Oh, he's trying to hump me. Oh, hey, hey, give me that little fella. But Patrick has this whole area in here and all of that food and this water all to himself. The trailer is now the perfect setup for a little songbird rehab. We have heat pads and these little soft enclosures for the birds so they don't hurt themselves. We also have these other enclosures for small mammals and these enclosures here. We have the shower for washing some off and the sink here. The fridge or freezer and the microwave for warming up bottles. We still don't even have siding on the house, but we have been approved by the city to get it. Most of the chicks that hatched here naturally have survived. And before the next video, I'm gonna be rehoming all of these to some friends. We have these kennels made. They're all eight by eight with a lot of mesh in the bottom and gravel. So even poggers and queen can't dig through these things, let alone a coyote or an armadillo or a beaver even. Oh, it's Germanimo. We have two pigeon lofts now, and there's nothing in this one yet, but we're gonna be getting a gift from a friend very soon. Jabringabo. And when the chickens are moved out of here, this little area could be perfect for a small screech owl or any other kind of animal. Maybe a fox or a raccoon. We still haven't planted these trees yet, but we organized this whole area and the cappies live happily in here. I also regularly get attacked by our prairie dogs, who now have two holes right here and right here. So we have two natural prairie dog holes on the property. Mrs. Ounce loves to chase after me and attack me. Look at Cringe, you guys. Look how precious she is. There is nothing more cuter than that little creature. Pierce, see if you can do a little jig on top of that. Yeah, see if you can do a little jig right there. Pierce can do the rump shaker, or dare yeah, I say the thug does. shaker. The thug Walk shaker, he's doing the thug him. shaker. Oh, he didn't want it. Turns out Geronimo won't let Pierce pick him up, but he will let me pick him up. For the time being, I'm going to put him in here with the other pigeons, who are actually now procreating in here. Like I said, I'm almost ready to let these, oh, I'm almost ready to let these guys fly away. I put these in here as other nesting boxes in case they wanted to make more. I think these ones are going to be a little white. And 
these are all just feral pigeons that we caught that we're probably gonna get exterminated on Baylor's campus. And ones that people have brought me for me to rehab. In a second, we're gonna move all the hay from over here into the cappy area so that they can eat it. Delicious. Well, While we're draining this and changing it, I'm gonna go ahead and let these guys out into the new pond. And for the first time intentionally, we'll try and swim with these guys. And unlike where it used to be, this little thing will drain downhill now. So it doesn't make a huge swamp for these guys to get muddy in. And look, guys, the baby's wife is just sitting by herself over here pondering. This is really great for getting her used to the dogs, too. And also, the dogs are used to her. So whenever the dogs do get introduced slowly to her, they're not going to chase her around and be cringe anymore. All right, children, come on out. Not only do these guys now get to go into the new pond, but they also get all of this fresh grass and foliage to eat. But okay, I'll let these boys graze here. And when they move over there, I'll get some videos for you guys. And now I'm no longer horribly neglecting my dogs <laughs> also all the cappies just poop in this corner now which is so much better than inside the barn but this is what i gotta do at least every week for these cappies i spray all this nasty poo poo off but okay while well, that's filling up i'll go ahead and show you guys the cappy swimming whoa is that patrick come on patrick we gotta go watch them swim oh look at this precious little man okay none of them are swimming yet they have all this fresh bermuda to eat and they still act cringe and chew on my hammock but we did it you guys this is the good end the baby didn't kill me or Kevin. I don't know if I want them going in the wetland filter yet. Also, New Remington just lives with the rat tights now. I feel like that makes sense, honestly. He's got so much nasty stuff on his back. Buddy, let me, no, let me get the stuff off your back. Let me get that, at least get this. What is this? Dude's got all these little burrs on him. Hello, Homelander, good morning. Look at that armpit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys real quick. Wow, look at this. And this is why I wanted to wait for the grass to get established here, you guys. I wanted them to have plenty of food when they came out here. And cappies, unlike these cringe grazers yeah. over here, will actually keep the grass nice. They'll just trim it down like a golf course, basically. Oh, Patwick is peeing. Sure glad this isn't in my living room. But look at these precious little creatures. Nothing like seeing all the children together in the same spot. I'm gonna name new Remington Winchester because I don't just want to name him after Remington. Oh, Kevin's gonna slip again. Also, thanks to Light Harvest Solar, this powers all of the lights throughout the whole place at night only for about four hours but that's usually all i need for the night it does my heart good to see all these boys in the same plate enjoying this pond okay apparently both scoopers are in here so i'm gonna have to go ahead and fight kevin real quick need to get in there i need to get in there kevin please let me in there sir please please kevin let me in there please kevin please just let me get the scooper <laughs> Whoa, is that Kevin? Kevin from the hit TikTok ostrich plug? Whoa, sir, I'm your biggest fan. Whoa, is that Kevin? Please stop, stop. Is that Patrick Bateman? And the last thing we need is Homelander getting a bunch of food in his ear hole. Look at this beautiful little man. Looks like the Cappies found the water. But all these guys just love this pond. And although I do have to supervise them when they're playing and fighting and swimming in here, I also have to take their poops as they poop them. There is nothing more precious than bathing with a Clappy. I'm gonna see if these guys will let me get in here and swim with them. Ooh, a little bit of Cappy poop. This sure is some nice fertilizer for my fruit trees. Mmm, delicious. These guys get to swim around and I get all of this nice Nice free fertilizer. When the poops are fresh, they're the easiest to get out of the water. Look at that precious little boy. Why is there just a bubble of liner here? Good heavens, is this why the water level's so low? Kinda cringe. Everything's beautiful and it's working as it should be for the most part. Gort, you better not get in there. Gort in the wetland filter foe today. Oh, look at that little snake skin, very neat. But to those of you that were with me in the old Austin days, or even since the crack house renovation days, back when this used to be full of of tires oil in a dump i love you all i appreciate you thank you guys so much for watching my videos because without you guys and your support none of this would have happened and by the time you guys watch this video lord willing we'll be approved for our wildlife rehabilitation permit that's why you like that video because we passed our inspection so we will get to graduate from taking in sanctuary animals that were getting hunted or eaten on ranches and other domestics with curled toes and splayed legs or just downright cringe uh -uh, aggressive animals that definitely should have been euthanized this little fella should have been dinner <laughs> to now getting to take in any kind of orphaned and injured native wildlife in the state of texas and if you guys are relatively new here please go back and watch our old video 
videos because I guess the most important message I wanted to get across by filming and documenting the progress is that A, anything is possible with a good Lord helping you. And B, you can do this too. I got a really cheap property. And before we fundraise for this barn, even though it ended up being worth triple of our GoFundMe goal, but we are now almost done with the farm sanctuary art. Up next, we have a nice anime filler beach episode with you guys. And after that, we should get started right away on the wildlife rehab. But that's it for now, you guys. From the bottom of my heart, I really do love you guys and appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for watching all these videos. And because of your likes and comments, that Indian bullfrog came back to his son and ended up being an amazing dad. And that's all thanks to you guys. Oh, sweet wampum gort. What's funny is that there's a bunch of gar in here. Also, a bunch of you guys were commenting, hey, if you put gar in here, won't they hurt the cappies? No, guys, gar are so peaceful. Well, I could put a five foot alligator gar in here and he wouldn't attack the cappies. And we might put a five foot alligator gar in here. Who knows? <laughs> but those fish are really docile, you guys. They're not gonna fight anything in here. Uh-oh, they're fighting. Uh oh no, no. Get over here, you stupid little dingus. Get over here. Get out, bath time's over. If you're gonna fight your brother, I'm gonna poke you. My pool. Yeah, get out of here. This is adult swim now. <laughs> Ooh, but I love you guys, I appreciate you. Sure smells like a pond in here. But that's it guys, I'll get off my soapbox. It really is amazing what the good Lord above can do. And I still pray for you guys almost every night. But I love you guys, I appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. Ooh, I almost forgot to tell you. Oh. <laughs>